Hey, Jeremy, it's Nico. How's it going? Hey, man, my bad about that earlier. <laughs> Yeah, man. You no, know, that that one was actually really good. I me I messed up on that one, man. My bad. <laughs> <All good. laughs> All right, man. So, um, so how's training camp been? Training camp's going good, good, man. Um, it's almost over now, so it's just winding down a bit. Got the last few hard days, and then uh, just relax. Fight week. Yeah. So, and fight week is next week, you said. Yeah, next Saturday. And uh, uh, Battlefield Thirty Four. Mhm. Mm Can you uh, tell us a little more about your opponent, man? Um, he's, uh, Mario Piera, he's, uh, 4-0 from, from Montreal, so he's from the other side of the country, but, uh, it's cool because we kind of got the same, uh, career path, like, he was 8-1 and one as an amateur with mm -hmm. two titles, and, mm -hmm. uh, I was 8-1 and one as an amateur with two titles, now he's 4-0 and, oh and I'm 6-0, oh, so it's pretty cool that we're meeting for our first, uh, pro belt. Yeah, that's awesome, and it's, uh, what, what weight, what weight belt is it for next week? Uh, one forty. One forty-five. So it's gonna be a, a fast, fast-paced fight. <laughs> yeah, fast finish for five rounds, man. Hopefully. Yeah. Well, hopefully not. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be less than five rounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, so how's how's your training camp been like? Tell us tell us more about your training camp. I know you told me uh, earlier that you uh you trained in in Thailand and then in in Canada and yeah. Tell us more about that. Yeah. Um. Well, training camp's been going good. It's been a long camp, man. It's been uh. After my fight in August, I kind of just took three weeks, like, light trained. I still trained, but it wasn't as hard, and then I got right back after it. So it's been, like, almost coming up on, like, a four-month camp. Mm -hmm. So, uh, And I spent uh, three of it over in Thailand. So that it, it's awesome because it's so, uh, like, religious there. You know, it's like mm -hmm. clockwork. You wake up, you train, mm -hmm. you chill, you wake up. You know, it's, it's always the same every day. But uh, this time I came home three weeks early just to get some training in with uh, guys from back home mm -hmm. and uh, adjust to the time change and the weather and everything. So everything's going perfect, man. That's awesome. Um, so is it a routine for you to go to Thailand and then come back to Canada to fight, or is that just for this one time only? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's kind of been my routine, like, as of late. Like, last February, I got selected as a sponsorship to go over there and live there for a year. Mm-hmm. I, I spent time over there, and I was fighting over there, but I missed fighting back home, so mm -hmm. Battlefield was willing to fly me home to fight, and so I did that in August, mm -hmm. and then again again this time, and I'll probably be heading back out there sometime later, er, well, earlier this year, like a couple months from now. Damn, I bet, I bet it's awesome to train over there, Rob, because there's no distractions. It's like fight, 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 right? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, I guess. Every day you got class at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. and you do your conditioning, and then you got nighttime classes. It's like you always got sessions to look forward to. You just got to show up, mm -hmm. and uh, you're you're staying like five minutes down the road, and you got no distractions, nothing. All the food's good. Mm -hmm. It's a perfect atmosphere, man. The price is right as well. Mm -hmm. Cheap living out there. That's awesome. Uh, everyone, it's it's easy to be a full time. Out there. Yeah, no distractions, none. Yeah. So um, and so once you know when you win this fight next week, uh, what's the what's the goal in the future? Is the UFC is the UFC is still the goal, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's definitely UFC is the goal. Um, I don't know if it's gonna take one or two fights. Uh, cause after this fight, hopefully I'll be seven and zero with the title. Mm -hmm. Um, hopefully the call comes then. But if not, I'll probably defend it one more time and then. Then hopefully that'll be enough to get my shot. To get a call in, yeah, that's awesome. And um, you know, with, with sponsorships and I know Bloodhound's all the way here in Texas, and you're in Canada. So how'd you get connected with uh, Bloodhound? Uh, uh, I got that through my manager, who I just uh, recently hooked up with uh, a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. He's been awesome, man. And uh, now I get to focus strictly on fighting instead of worrying about sponsorships and yeah and I. Fight, dealing with fight promoters and everything like that. That's all his end now. Yeah, because... Uh, focus on becoming a better fighter every day. Yeah, because then you can just only focus on fighting, which is, you know, the main goal. So. Yeah, that's, that's the job, so... Yep. Easy that way. Yes, sir. So, hopefully you'll get that UFC contract soon, man, after, you know, after you win the <laughs> next fight. <laughs> well, I'm hoping so. That would make it awesome, man. That'd be, that'd be really cool. Um, so any any uh, anybody you want to thank 
any shout outs to anybody? Um, yeah, I would just like to uh, shout out to Team Quest Thailand and my sponsors, Popeye Supplements, uh, Strike Athletics, and Knuckle Apparel, and of course, Bloodhound. Probably. And you, do you like do you like the Bloodhound um, the walkout shirt you're gonna be walking out to? Yeah, man, I was telling you earlier that that shirt's awesome. I was pumped when I saw that. <laughs> yeah, man, they, they they produce some awesome walkout shirts, especially personalized yeah. ones. I already had some people talking to me mentioning about it because I posted a picture up there. So. Yeah, great, great. Well, man, thank you so much for your time, Jeremy, and uh, we're looking forward to uh, hear about your fight and about your win. And and hopefully get that call through the UFC, buddy. Hopefully, man. Pre- appreciate it. Oh, Thanks man. Thank, thank you for your time, man.